I want to jump from build height to bedrock without dying. Do you think I can do it? This is my first episode on Legacy SMP and as you can see, off camera grinding already took place. We've got some diamond stuff from the villagers, some armor. Definitely need the leather boots, you know, for the powdered snow. I already got myself a wonderful friend. Tell me in the comments what I should name this horse. Unfortunately, this isn't my first horse. I um, had a creeper accident and my horse protected me, but unfortunately it died in the process. So this is horse number two. <laughs> so this is our little starting area. This is the hill where we all met and we are surrounded by a lot of mountains and I've actually settled down in a village, but not this one. Let me show you. Oh, my horse! Slow and steady across the ravine. <laughs> Slow and steady. <laughs> this is dangerous, isn't it? Do you think we should go caving today? I think we should check out those new massive caves and the mountains. And today we'll build the start of a uh, ravine. Oh, ho, oh, oh, that was close. I was going to say today we're going to build the starter base. And we're definitely going to fall from build limit to bedrock. So I'm going to prepare for all of that, but let me show you where I set up my little camp. So this is it. Welcome to my wheat field. <laughs> Don't trample it, horse. Be a nice horse. And wheat field number two. And this is the village. And if we go up here, those lovely dirt stairs, we will find the ladder leading to my very disgusting starter place. And this is the hole where I push all my mobs in, but villagers have fallen in for some reason. Let us go up the mysterious ladder. Welcome to the ugliness that is a starter setup. <laughs> but I just made this because I didn't want to do any pretty building off camera, right? We're going to do that together. Hey villagers, stop humming into my recording, please. And this little redstone setup belongs to the guy. He's Herobrine. You know, the one we met on a little exploration video with Mr. Beardstone. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah? I'm not sure if I can trust him though. His eyes. He looks like Herobrine. And these are my goats. I'm breeding goats because I'm trying to get a screaming goat. Attempt number three. I've already tried this on two other SMPs. <laughs> Let's see if I can manage to do it this time and not give up. And this is our little um, food source. Ignore the loud noise. Hello, lonely chicken. Yeah, this is the starter setup, but I think we should head into the mountains. Will you look at these massive, massive mountains? I think they are so, so good. Come on, horse. Let's get up there and take a good look around. Oh, it's a snow fox. Hello. Hello, little snow fox. No, don't run away. I have food. Wait, please. Yay! It ate the berries. But you know, you no, you can't tame foxes. They will always run away. But once I have a lead, I'm going to come back for that little fox. Oh, look at this. We are above the clouds and you can see the sun setting. And this is a wonderful, massive mountain. And what is that? Hello. Oh, another goat. We should stay away. They are dangerous. Oh, it's a bunny. Look, there's a bunny. Hello. No! <laughs> I mean, uh, I appreciate your sacrifice. I will make a bundle out of that. Oh, wow. I got myself lost, but look at this. This is incredible. <laughs> Just a giant hole <laughs> in the mountain. I kind of want to go in. See what we have here. Just a whole lot of darkness, really. <laughs> I'm sure you can't see anything. I'm just not sure how good caving footage will look on YouTube because it's all so dark and my game brightness already on maximum brightness. <laughs> Ooh, I know exactly what I want to do with this. Wee! No! Not on the tree! Wee! Okay, that wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Whoa! Big, big, big danger death cave. Nope. There's so much death in here. Yep. No! Why am I on fire? Not my horse. Look at those glow squids. I am caving and I just found my first deep slate diamond ore. Yeah, this is my little hidey hole, my little air bubble of safety. 
Should we mine the first diamonds or should we leave them here? Because it's deep slate diamond ore. Aren't they rare? I don't know. I kind of want to mine them. I need diamonds. It's just one. Sadness. There are so many creepers in this cave. This is insane. <laughs> yeah. 1.18 caves are insane. They're huge. And there's a lot of mobs spawning. But I think there's a light level change. So they no longer... No, spawn on like, I don't know, light level 7, only on light level 0, I think. I'm not sure about that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna die, I think, so I'm just gonna run. Very, very big danger death cave. And I do have no clue where I'm going. I'm very much lost in this cave, but it is insane. It's huge. We're on what? Something Y level minus something. It's so big. Something just died over there. That's a bit concerning. Yay, caving is fun, but I think I'm going to die. I can already hear something falling down. New. No. Bad skelly. Look at that spider! <laughs> oh, that is... Ah, so funny. <laughs> no. No, come on. Be friendly. Oh, there's lapis. Do you guys know the lapis trick? I wonder if it still works. Look at that spider just launched itself on me. <laughs> What's wrong with them? I didn't do anything to you. I did slightly underestimate these new big 1.18 caves. I did have a little survival sneak peek in an experimental snapshot. But this is so dangerous. <laughs> I really underestimated it. I have no idea how to get out. Let's see if we can get across. But you're not getting across. Aw. Aha! Look, I can see daylight. We've almost made it. Just need to get across this ravine. And I only found one diamond. What a success. Ha! <laughs> oh, I know where we are. This is like a ravine next to, I think, our central meeting area you know where i did the intro <laughs> i am getting distracted but i see a geode we have to go there Ooh, <laughs> i'm not good at the water bucket thing time to get amethysts and then make spy glasses for everyone on the server yay i died no <laughs> oh no i'm at spawn i'll never get back in time <laughs> Oh no. All my stuff despawned. Brooke tried to save it, but it was too late. <laughs> I'm back at spawn. The dirt had of safety. For some reason there was a diamond here, so I'm taking that. Why do I have two crafting tables? <laughs> I'm no good at this game. So I need to go back and then start all over again. No. The good thing about coming back from spawn 2,000 blocks or 3,000 is that I get to find my puppies and bring them home and the baby grew up already. The puppy grew up. Come on, doggies. We'll go around the mountain so that they don't die in powdered snow, you know. Look, that's an azalea tree right in the middle of a dark oak forest. And that means there's lush caves underneath. This is amazing, isn't it? Just in a dark oak forest. Yay, I finally made it back. Let's grind back all of our stuff. So after that incident, I got myself some armor again and some tools and I was busy digging a hole all the way to the bottom to bedrock and all the way to the top. All we need to do is climb up there and then we just have to jump from build height to bedrock. I'm on top of the world. This is... Build height, isn't it? I didn't bring any blocks to check. Yep. 319. Oh, the world height increased. That is amazing. Okay, now we just need to fall down there. This is scary. But while we're up here, let's enjoy the view. Isn't this fantastic? Look at all these mountains. Oh, you can't really see much with that low render distance. Here's the advancement. Caves and cliffs free fall from the top of the world. Build limit to the bottom of the world and survive. Okay, I am going to fall. There's water at the bottom. Okay, here goes nothing. Ah. 
I can do it. I can do it. Almost there. Yes. I made it. I made it. I made it. Caves and cliffs. And now to get out and clean everything up. Yay. I've actually left the free fall tower up here for quite a couple of days so that the other legates can do the jump because it was kind of difficult to set up and I think Thomas put a ladder here. I might keep this here. It won't stay this ugly. I will remove that pillar. I think in a future episode I'm going to maybe build like a free fall tower. Something pretty because I like to make things pretty in Minecraft. But I've also grinded some more stuff. I now have a fortune 3 pickaxe. I used the guy's villagers. They are somewhere over there. And he set up so many villages already and I just used that and grinded some stuff, some emeralds and got a diamond pickaxe. I'm so happy. And I also made this dirt path. It does look so ugly, doesn't it? But it's just, it's just temporary. I want to make this pretty. I want to have like some, some slabs here so I can just run up without having to jump. And then also putting some azalea leaves around the edges. I think that would look really nice, make it nice and lush, make this a really cute cozy starter area. And of course today we still have to build a starter house. I already have a design in mind that will take us to new heights. Not as high as this one though, I'm thinking. <laughs> so we've already got that wonderful caves and cliffs advancement done today. But speaking of advancements, I heard Brooke has something in mind for that. So um, you said that you like doing advancements or that's something you want to do in this series. And I was thinking the same. So... While we're still early game and we haven't done many, I was thinking maybe we could do an advancements race. Ooh, so whoever gets the most advancements first wins? Yeah, like yes. maybe we could go for an hour. Do we want a prize? Ooh, yeah, maybe we should put something something of our valuables together, you know? Huh? Do you have diamonds? <laughs> <What> valuables, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any. It could be one of, mine, one of my advancements. I could do an IOU. <laughs> oh we could do like the person owes like five diamonds or something should we count down and split up okay <laughs> all right three two one bye bye <laughs> <laughs> okay so we need to get advancements as fast as we can and we only have one hour okay brooke already has three advancements and we don't have any already oh no please work Yes, there we go. Okay, we have an iron golem. That's one advancement done and there's still so many to go. Okay, we need two more to catch up with Brooke and then many, many more. Glow and behold, there we go. Perfect. Yes, diamonds. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now I think I have three advancements. Brooke has three advancements. We just have to keep going. And I think we might be able to win this. And crying obsidian. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> <laughs> I am here for amethyst. <laughs> oh, oh, are you trying to do the spyglass thing? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, <laughs> You'll I find see. out pretty soon. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and I have a compass and country load, take me home. <laughs> Perfect. Tactical fishing. I think we should go to the nether. There are so many advancements we can get, but I think it's going to be dangerous. So we just need to be extra careful. I still need to look at a ghast through the spyglass so we can do that too. If we find... What? How did that sheep... How? How did that sheep get there? That is... That is strange. That is concerning. Maybe we should also try our luck at finding ancient debris. Maybe that's a bit too over the top, but hey, why not, huh? Let's just dig straight down. <laughs> Seriously, why not? Let's try it. Oh, let's make a respawn anchor. And... Yes. And I set my spawn in case I die. <laughs> to lava and the likes. I can also hear a gas, so maybe we should quickly go back to the top, just, just real quick. To get that ghast, right? Gotcha! <laughs> don't ghast, don't kill me! Oh! Return to sender! That ad that advancement should be something we should get. Hey ghast! Ghast! That ghast is a bit stupid. Ghast! Ghast! 
<laughs> what is it doing? Ghast! Hello? Wow. Every time you want their attention, they're just ignoring you. That's so rude. Guys, guys, look what I found. Yes, and it's two. Ah, I have ancient debris. Da 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 da. No lava! Ah, no! <laughs> it is done. Yes, we made the potion. We have fire resistance. Wax on. Wax off. Oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> and Wax Fraud just joined the game. <laughs> wax on, wax off. <laughs> Perfect timing. I have one more trick up my sleeve. Crossbow. Crossbow and... I shot a crossbow. Yes. And the time is up and let's meet up with Brooke and count how many we got. <laughs> I think you might have won. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> how many did you get? Um, that's a good question, Do actually. You know? <laughs> uh, 10, 11, and then 12 with the crossbow. <laughs> I think. If I counted okay, correctly. Yeah, you... You won. <laughs> I think I actually just got eight. <laughs> I was working on um, I was trying to find a glow squid and I just couldn't find one. Oh no. <laughs> oh well, good challenge and I owe you diamonds. So I'm yes. gonna have to go diamond mining next. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to build my little starter base somewhere next to this mountain. Whoa, what was that? Oh, those strays are a thing. That was very unexpected because I'm the only one on the server. That was really creepy. Ow, no. I'm just gonna run away and I'll see you when the base is done. So I built something and I'm standing right on top of it. It doesn't really look like much, does it? I don't know how to get down to show you. Wow! Oh, pro gamer. I did it. Now I just need to get rid of this dirt pillar. So this is my house. Yes, it's floating. It's very much not on the ground. It's very much held up by a giant red balloon. That didn't come from a clown, trust me. And I have to find a way to get into the house <laughs> because I can't fly yet. I don't have an elytra, so we'll see. So what was my idea for this build? Well, basically, I wanted to do something high up in the sky because, you know, the new update takes us to new heights, caves and cliffs, giant mountains, big caves. So this was pulled out from down below and brought to the very top. Well, it's not the very top of the world, but it's very high up above the mountains. And I saw a really cool design by someone called Ryan Stray on Instagram and they built a house held up by a red balloon and I thought that was so cool. So I designed a little house. This is my favorite kind of block palette. I always design houses out of these blocks. Calcite, diorite, spruce, deep slate, always the deep slate. And of course always the azalea leaves all over the place. I love my azalea leaves if you haven't guessed by my skin. Azalea leaves. And I did all sorts of funny texturing on the balloon. I even used the red mushroom blocks and redstone glazed terracotta. First time I've used any of these blocks in a build, I think. But it looks okay, doesn't it? It's kind of funny. And this is some sort of a claw that grabbed the house <laughs> and the balloon is holding it up. I don't know how this works, gravity-wise, but it's Minecraft. Gravity doesn't make sense in Minecraft, so this doesn't make sense either, and it's fine. And if you want to see the interior and all the other things I have planned for this area, yes, this is my mountain, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye-bye!